Good evening. My name is Lord Hailsham Galesbury II of Elfian. But you can call me Lord Galesbury II of Elfian, Lord Hailsham of Elfian, or Lord Hailsham II of Elfian. Either way, I'm disgracefully wealthy and I come from a long line of aristocratic homosexuals. I now present to you my vision of Ireland, or England, as it's known to the English, and some of the Irish. In Ireland, an Englishman's place is usually to be found at the top of a complex tree that the ghastly Irish can barely comprehend. But what do we really know about these mysterious people who first came to Ireland in the 12th century? Well, Ireland is a quaint country on the wrong side of Europe, and thankfully, up to now, is still very much a part of England. But where would Ireland be without the helpful influence of England? Gone! That's where. The Latin word for Ireland is Hibernia, meaning to hibernate or sleep for long periods of time. To be slothful, lazy, unappreciative of fine wines, and capable of dropping an Englishman dead at the first opportunity. Let us now examine the subject of food. Irish cuisine begins and ends with the potato. Potatoes. Eaten whole, chopped in half, or served with more potatoes. Delicious. Simple food for a simple people. The love that the Irish have for the potato borders on a deviated agricultural sexual perversion. Indeed, I myself have at times become attracted to beasts in a field. Thankfully, the famine ended all of this filthiness. I personally tried everything to rectify this dreadful situation by sending aid. However, no amount of vintage port or Edwardian armchairs could please the ungrateful wretches. The Irish enjoy many sports, such as hurling shaving competitions and setting fire to anything English. The Irish enjoy horses, both sexually and otherwise, and will readily cheat at motorbike races by riding a horse, both sexually and otherwise. Over the next few weeks, I intend to set the record straight on further unsavory aspects of Irish life. Topics I intend to discuss are religion. Marriage between Catholics and Protestants are uncommon. The offspring of such a union are called cattle prods. The sexuality ness of the Irish. Drinking. Fighting. And drinking while fighting. The Irish. What a rotten shower. <laughs>